a simple random sample of 64 dogs had an average of six fleas and there's some sort of fictitious piece right here which is necessary for the confidence interval that I want to show you which is a Z interval. Um, the fictitious piece is that we know the standard deviation for the entire population was four fleas for individual dogs. They're asking us to find a 95% confidence interval to estimate mu, which is the mean of um, number of fleas for all dogs in the population that we're trying to shoot for. So um, let's talk about the, the, the sample um, and whether or not it fits criteria that's necessary to begin our confidence interval. The first thing you should do is check your conditions to make sure the conditions are suitable to go on and do your calculations. Uh, there's three pieces here that should be, should be um, checked. The first thing is, was it a simple random sample? Well, I told you that it was. For samples that are not simple random samples, the results from the calculation are very skeptical. Uh, the second thing you should check is that um, we actually have a big enough sample. And the rule of thumb is that the number in your sample should be greater than or equal to 30 to eliminate the effects of outliers. And that's true here because we've got 64. So we've got a nice sized sample of dogs. And then the third condition, which is a little bit odd, is that we have to make sure that our sample is not too big. Our sample size should be less than 10% of the population. And that's something that's easily met in most um, sampling situations. I mean, usually you're trying to estimate information from a very large population. So in this case here, definitely 64 dogs is way less than 10% than of the entire population of all, of all dogs. So our conditions are met, which means we can go ahead and use a formula that is given to you on the AP exam in words. In words, it's the statistic plus or minus the margin of error. The margin of error is the critical value or the upper critical value times the standard deviation of the statistic. So in words, that's how the formula looks. Uh, in symbols, it will look like this. Our sample average plus or minus our standard deviation upper critical value times the standard deviation of the statistic, which is the individual standard deviation divided by the square root of how many are in our sample. So the standard deviation is going to be a lot smaller than just an individual standard deviation because we're not talking about individual dogs like we are here. We're talking about groups of dogs, groups of 64 dogs. So in order to put the numbers in place, um, we had an average of six fleas. Z star can be found in the back of most textbooks or the inside cover of textbooks. It's also found on the formula sheets that will be provided for you on most exams. And if you turn to the T distribution table, um, they will list the confidence level at the very bottom. And then right above it, there should be a value for Z star. So if we're looking up numbers like 90%, it'll say above it 1.645. For 95%, it'll say 1.960 for the standard deviation. So you use whatever, use the, whatever means to actually get that number from whatever table you're using. And that tells you how accurate you want the answer to be. We're shooting for 95% confidence more of an explanation of what this means at the very end. But this is just the mechanics of actually getting the numbers down. The standard deviation is four. 
for individual dogs divided by the square root of how many dogs are in a sample, which is 64. So we get 4 divided by 8, which is a half, and half of 1.960 would end up giving us 0.98 fleas. So our margin of error is 0.98. Just a little bit off the board here. So, so all together, I've got room over here. All together, we get 6 plus or minus 0.98 fleas. So 0.98 was our margin of error, which if you do 6 take away 0.98, you get 5.02 as the lower bound of our interval up to 6.98 fleas. So this is our numeric answer. Now, for this to be a complete question and completely correct, you should interpret the interval, especially on the exam. The exam will not say um, interpret all the time. Sometimes it'll just say find the interval. You have to check the conditions, you have to do the mechanical part, and then the, the last step is to actually explain what this means. And there are some popular phrases that you should use to explain it. Um, the two that I like the most would be to interpret the interval this way and say that um, on average, 95% of all samples will correctly capture or obtain the true average from the population. Another way that you can explain this too, which would also be equally good, is that the method used has a 95% in this case, a 95% success rate in finding the location of the true average from the population or mu. And then here's just a brief overview of some things too. Um, and what it, in terms of what it's saying, um, saying that we are pretty confident that our answer is between five and seven fleas on average per dog. If we wanted to re, if we wanted to get a more accurate answer, you would be actually less confident in the answer. So if you end up using a 90% confidence interval or a 60% confidence interval, that would mean that the interval would actually shrink down to be closer and closer to six, which was our sample average. So a more confident answer would actually get be a wider interval. So if I had a 99% confidence interval, then it would be beyond five and, and seven. If I had a 100% confidence interval, it would include everything. So you never want to be 100% confident because that would mean that there'd be anywhere between zero to a billion billion fleas on average per dog and that would be a, an answer that would have a hundred percent confidence which is pretty useless. Um, there is also a way to use the graphing calculator to get these answers too and very briefly that can be accomplished by using the stat button on your calculator and going to tests. So stat tests will be a menu that you can visit to actually do a Z interval. If you do that, you can go to the stats um, selector and actually type in the information. You've got an individual standard deviation of four. You have a sample average of six. We are talking about 64 dogs with a confidence level of 95%. If you go down to calculate, 
you'll see that our answer is dead on with what the calculator said.